Hi, uh, this is Chris. So I'm right out in front of the house right now. It's really a uh, beautiful, beautiful home. One of the nicer ones I've seen in El Dorado lately. So you, of course, you do have a uh, two-car attached garage. There's room for some extra parking. You can see where I put my car there. Uh, the lot is probably around two acres. So I would say halfway out to that other fence over there. It's 1.27 acres, I'm sorry. I'm just showing you kind of the front landscape here. You're gonna get some fantastic views of the Sandia Mountains and the Ortiz Mountains down that way to the south. And I'm facing pretty much due south, right here, straight out the driveway is almost due south, just to get you oriented. They have a few pinyons planted in the front in a nice courtyard area, so let's go in and I'll show you the house. <clears throat> um, the stucco looks to be in good shape. The windows are all in good shape too. Condition-wise, overall I'd say this house is in pretty excellent condition. They do have a keypad entry. So here we are right in the front hall. I'm just gonna close the door because it's a little bit windy out today. Um, it has this really, really beautiful uh, clay plaster on all the walls, and there's some different colors throughout the house, too. Um, just to show you, there's a coat closet here, right when you come in. It's got some rather unique kind of metal frame hangers. That's pretty interesting. These floors really struck me, too, when I walked in. It's sort of a flagstone looking, but... Just really gorgeous tile, really beautiful. I happen to really like that a lot. So before I go into the main part of the house, this is the extra room. I guess they call it a den or a family room. This room has some pretty cool, I think this is probably cork or maybe a bamboo floor of some sort. So a really pretty nice large room here. Um, I think that Originally, this room was the garage, which would explain this slightly odd sort of closet space here that might have been storage in the original garage. In any case, um, it's a nice, good-sized room. There's a mini split right there. The mini split is going to offer you heat and air conditioning. They do have a number of other mini splits throughout the house, but not in every single room. Otherwise, the heat is uh, forced air. So this is the laundry room slash utility room. Those are Maytag units. Newer, I would say, not brand new. There's a couple of shelves that are built in here and some more of that pipe work, that kind of stuff that we saw in the front hall closet. Here's the main electric panel. You can see 1990 is the date on that, so that's roughly the year built of the house. That all looks in order to me, 200 amp service. There's a few areas here on the floor where it looks like the Joints have kind of expanded. That could probably be fixed. This is probably just like a floating floor that's not glued down. So not a big deal, I don't think, to fix that. Over here you see the thermostat for the um, radiant heat. And then this is the controller here. No, sorry, not the radiant. That's for the mini split. This is the controller for the mini split. This probably is a little entry, was the original entrance to the garage. That's the inside of that round glass window that we saw just coming up to the property. And then here's the new garage. So in El Dorado, one of the HOA requirements is that every house have a two car garage. It doesn't mean you have to park your car in the garage, they just want you to have a garage. So when they converted that room, which used to be the garage, they added this on. So this is um, the actual garage. And it has some built-in workbenches here. And some really nice uh, storage space. And it's pretty well lit. 
This door, I'll show you that in just a second. Let's look at the mechanical room. So on the right is the hot water heater. I'm looking for a date, but I don't see one, but it does seem to be newer. And then here is your boiler for the radiant heat, okay? So that's curious because in the MLS listing, it says it's forced air heat, but it's not. It's actually uh, in-floor radiant, right? Sure what it looks like to me. I'm going to have to confirm this. Um, but in any case, that all looks in order too. This is a nice clean setup. Uh, they did a good job here. So here's a bunch of Cat5 wiring and for cable, for internet, and things like that. It's probably wired throughout the house. So that's nice and neatly organized there. And then let's just take a peek at the backyard while we're here. So there is a fenced pet area right there. There is a short fence here that's a privacy fence probably for the back uh, neighbors in the back. But you can see the houses are gen generally spaced out pretty far. That's typical of El Dorado to have one to two acre lots. Here's the fence pet area. There's also a storage shed. So one of those metal storage sheds right there. That white bar you see coming down is one of the lines for the mini split. And there's your electric meter on the back there. So that all looks good to me. Let's go see the rest of the house. Usually when I do my video tours, my son comes and helps me, but he was in a class today, so he couldn't do it. So you're stuck with me and my shaky video production. I hope it's okay. Okay, so now we're back by the entry door. Down this hallway are the uh, three bedrooms. You have a nice set of built-in bookshelves right here. Some nice architectural features. So this is the main living area with the kitchen and a small dining area. There's no separate dining room. So this wall has some exposed adobe that's been painted. This is also fairly typical to see in El Dorado. I don't know if the whole house is adobe or not if they're claiming that or not. That's something we can determine uh, during the inspections. Let me just see what the notes say here. Frame. So that, that's just an accent wall, really just probably more for looks. I, I don't think the whole house is Adobe. There's a wood burning fireplace and it's, it's somewhat of an insert you see there. So those vents that you see up above are providing that's where the heat comes out basically this is the main window looking out again towards the south where you can really see those views of the mountains it's really pretty it's a little overcast today but you know this is uh, a little untypical for us right now this is a banco that runs all along underneath it that's kind of a traditional style for a uh, uh, frame around the fireplace. And it used to be for sitting, but you know, you could put some pots on there like they have right here. So there's a, a bar here, island kind of bar that goes across the counter. And there are three chairs that you could fit. And then around here, there's a couple of built-in shelves. And then the dining area is right here. So I'd say this is quite small for a dining area, but for two people, it's fine. If you wanted to squeeze four, you probably could do it with a larger table, or you could just eat outside too, if it's nice out. So custom cabinetry in here is really quite beautiful. This is a nice big Frigidaire gallery.
which looks new, or maybe even brand new. There's some nice slide out shelves in this cabinet. Here's your dishwasher. That's a Bosch. These cool countertops, I'm not sure exactly what they are. It's gonna say concrete at first, but, but maybe not. So there's a little bit of an open shelf concept here. And then these cabinets um, have this frosted glass with kind of a cool treatment to them. So that looks nice. They look pretty. Very nice, large, deep sink. And a window to look out. That's back looking out at the driveway. So let's move along to the stove. A gas stove. It's five burners. This is a Wolf. Never quite seen one like that. So it's a cooktop, gas cooktop, and then it has a built-in oven down below, which is also a Wolf. Looks um, very clean, like it's hardly ever been used. And then there's a really nice hood, a vented hood here that uh, has a good light, which helps for cooking. And clearly it's vented out to the, to, the, to the roof. So over here, there's a separate little prep sink. So if you have two people cooking, one of them could be over here using this sink here. And then the countertop turns to butcher block style or wood, um, which is kind of nice too, I like that. Got room for your trash can. Pretty nice, all in all. Okay, so I'll go outside here real quick in the front. Let's just check this out. This is really the main outdoor area, which is covered. This is portal setup. There's a separate gate to entrance um, in case you wanted to come in from the driveway. They've got their barbecue grill out here. And here's the setup of the portal. You could easily put some more outdoor furniture out here. There's plenty of room for it. There's a nice water feature that they have going right there and a really cool like bonsai tree plant. Kiva fireplace, fire pit. So this is nicely done. It's landscaped. There are some rocks, which is fine. Um, but everything else looks to be healthy. There's actually um, some things coming up over there, which is nice. There's a nice big tree right here. This could be a fruit tree, I'm not positive. It's a little hard to tell. They have a small patch of grass right over here, which is nice. Um, you don't wanna go too crazy with the grass around here because you know it is the desert after all. But it's nice to have a little bit of green. And continuing on, this is uh, another bed around this side, which is nicely mulched. There's a gate that goes back to the fenced pet yard. And then we have a nice little seating area over here. There's some flagstone to get you across. And a really cool little fire pit that's built in back here. And this is fenced and very private. And it does have some uh, landscaping around it. So that'll make it a little bit more comfortable in case it's a little bit breezy or, or whatever's going on with the wind. Again, the exterior of the home looks in really good shape. I don't have any concerns about that. And now there's somebody else. It's been non-stop action at this house all afternoon. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back in and I will show you the rest of the bedrooms. I hope the video is turning out okay and I'm not going too fast. 
So you need to, you can pause it to look at other certain various features. I would say the lighting is really nice. They did these pin lights in the hallway. Um, everything was pretty well thought out, I have to say. Okay, so continuing down the hall a little bit. This is one of the guest bedrooms and it switches color in here, it's blue. It's kind of the same texture as the other stuff. It's got this kind of rough uh, clay finish to it. It's actually really beautiful, I have to say I like it. They do have a skylight right here, which is letting in a lot of natural light because this room is probably the darkest room in the house. Nice large closet here. Plenty of outlets. Guest bathrooms here. Pretty good size. Hold on a second, I'm gonna have to pause. 